This is the Y-Tex Quadro Twist. This is why you should actually try it. Whitex is a US-based tennis string manufacturer. Now, I don't know if they have their manufacturing on US soil, I highly doubt it, but at least the company is headquartered in the US. The owner is an absolute savage of an amateur tennis player, so he is representing, in part, consumers, such as himself and me, which is absolutely fantastic to hear. And I did used to be an ambassador on Whitex, uh, but that was about four or five years ago, so I absolutely, I revoked it because if I was an ambassador for any type of tennis string manufacturer, I would already be subconsciously, if not consciously biased in any type of reviews I do for you guys, and I definitely want to earn your guys' trust. Speaking of ambassador, I'm actually now a Swing Vision ambassador. I will tell you more about that and what it means for the channel towards the end of this video if you guys are interested. The Quadro Twist is the flagship poly of the Whitex String Company, and it's coming in at about $15 a packet and about $190 for a full 660 foot reel. A lot of my people on Discord have been asking me to do this review, so I'm glad I could finally get around to it. And I'm glad that this is going to be part of the conversation for a very good consumer friendly tennis string. So if you guys want to be part of that conversation, I'll leave a link to my Discord down in the section below. And if there is a question that you guys have that I haven't addressed concerning this string or anything else tennis related, I do live stream on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays, both on YouTube Live, and I also hop on Twitch soon after to play some video games like World of Warcraft right now. So first impressions, this shape, Kolpali, is very similar to the Selenko barbed wire if you guys have ever hit with that tennis string before. So similar to the Selenko barbed wire, string this absolutely sucked. It tore up my fingers and I had to be especially careful, even with the string weaver, about not destroying the grommets and also not notching the crosses when weaving back and forth. So it's, so stringers, seriously, just be careful. But also, you know what also doesn't suck? Hitting like and subscribe for more original tennis content. Yeah, that's a shameless plug and an amazing segue. I can't wait to do stand-up comedy. From the baseline, this required no break-in period, which is absolutely a godsend for any type of shaped Kopali that's on the stiffer side. It's a good string from the baseline overall. It's a better than average spin potential, but it is marketed as a spin monster, so I'll talk about that more towards the cons of this video. And it has a good trajectory along with it being very, very consistent, even on those slight off-center hits. I will say, however, that this string is not good for slices or defensive shots. The slices, at least from my experience, both forehand and backhand, sat up just a little bit too much and landed just a little bit shorter than expected. So my opponent can really bully me around once I'm on defense in singles and just take an approach shot basically at the service line when the ball should be landing more towards no man's land or near the baseline. But I am a defensive baseliner. I rely on my slices quite a lot in singles, but maybe it doesn't affect you nearly as much. For the volleys, it's very consistent actually. Although it is lower powered, the volleys and the trajectory for this string were fantastic. So doubles players might actually want to try this out or someone that likes to finish off even singles points at the net. Serves, absolutely fantastic for first flat serves. It really encourages you to swing out as much as you can. And the first serves, the flat serves, never actually felt like it was sailing longer than it needed to be. And also for the spin serves, this is probably the best slice and kick serve string polys. I have ever tried on this channel so far. So if you guys know of any string that gives more bite and kick on second serves, leave a comment down in the section below. I wanna hear what your thoughts are for that. So overall, there's a lot of pros for this string, but it's not a perfect string, and I'll tell you why. I like seeing new companies on the market. Competition breeds excellence for both the product and service and also the consumer, such as you and me. 
This is one of the most consistent strings I've ever play tested. Even on the slight miss hits and off center hits, the ball went where you expect it to go, although it might be a little bit shorter. And that's fine. It's good feedback that you had a miss hit, but it was very, very consistent. One of the most consistent strings I've ever play tested on this channel so far. The Y-Tex Quadro Twist also provided really good spin potential. And also, it's not expensive at $14.95 a packet, and the tension maintenance is top notch. Even after about seven hours of play testing, and something's blowing up right now, more on that later. I've been hitting with this string for about seven, seven and a half hours now. It still holds tension pretty well. It's as if it just came right off my string machine. However, there are cons. One, the string was slightly uncomfortable. It felt cheap and mushy, kind of like the Slinko Hyper G Soft. I did review the Hyper G Soft. I will leave a link to that in this corner if you haven't checked it out already. Although this is marketed as a spin monster in every online retailer and also the homepage of Ytex, I will leave a link to that also in the description if you guys want to check it out. It's not amazing with spin potential. I had significantly more spin potential off of the Slinko Hyper G and also the Slinko Confidential. In fact, I honestly think that the Yonix Polytour Pro might have the same amount of spin potential than the Ytex Quadro Twist. But the issue is, the Yonix Polytour Pro, it's a round poly. And finally, I'll close that. Also, it's a little bit more expensive than I would expect it to be. For what the Ytex Quadro Twist can offer, as a product, I would be happy to pay 10, maybe $12, but I think 15 is a little bit out of the price range for regular consumers. However, if there are any Ytex ambassadors listening to this video and you're willing to share what the wholesale price for the Quadro Twist is, please leave a comment down in the section below and I will definitely pin it to the top to where everybody can see. This test was with my Babolat Pure Aero VS strung at 52 pounds and this was also with the 16 L gauge because I couldn't find a 16 gauge anywhere to be seen, to be play tested. And yes, uh, I am demoing rackets right now. So um, I'm on my Yonix VCore 98 demo and I will leave a link to that tennis racket review soon, hopefully by the beginning of next week because I am looking for new rackets because my bad luck here Aero VSs are a little bit cracked right now internally. Yes, I'm also part of the Swing Vision Ambassador program now, so that's where my B-roll footage is. So if you guys are curious on Swing Vision, I will leave a free trial to the pro version down in the description below. And yes, it does help out this channel, but I would try it out, it's free. So on to the next one, as always guys, Happy hitting.